Come on, go through all this. Tiger is jumping around. Welcome into another evolution video. That's right, we're going to continue with the last of the Gen 4 starters. We do have Turtwig today. We're going to be going through evolving our Turtwig, kind of like we did with the Chim Chart. We're going to go in the underground, the same sort of water room. Watch for some other water starters just in case they spawn. Show you guys again how you can find them down there. And if you are new, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We have lots of evolution videos coming. We're going to try to do as many as we can for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. And I appreciate you guys tuning in. And make sure you like this video because we are about to show you how to evolve Turtwig. So without further ado, let's jump in. So again, I'm already in the underground. We're going to head over here to this water Pokemon hideaway. And let's see what we have. Lickitung, Tauros... Badoof. Well, let's start with Tauros. If you did watch the Chimchar video, you'll notice the team's pretty similar, except instead of Chimchar now, we have Turtwig. Um, we are all healed up. The Corsola has proven a little bit of a mismatch for my Dialga, but everything else shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, Aura Sphere works well on these normal types. Doesn't quite take him out yet, as our Dialga needs to get a little bit stronger, but it'll do its job for now. Um, just like the other starters, Turtwig does evolve twice, um, but the levels are a little bit different, and that's why we're doing these videos for you guys, so you can see exactly what level you need to get to. Um, you could have picked Turtwig at the beginning of your game, or if you catch it later in the post game, you know you have some options. I, of course. Breed mine with a ditto so I can get a level 1 just for these videos. And Turtwig went from level 1 to 19. Um, I don't know what moves Turtwig knows. I want to learn growth. I'm not worried about it. Crazy Leaf. Crazy Leaf's usually pretty good. Um, it knows Sand Tomb. Interesting. That must have been what the other Turtwig I caught knew. Get your Razor Leaf. Curse. Nope. Yeah, so Turtwig is already level 19 and it's evolving because you actually only need to get it to level 18. So we got a whole extra level for Turtwig, but level 18, here's your Turtwig. So there you have it, your Turtwig evolved into Grottle. It is at 3'7", 213 pounds. I did not have it in my Pokedex yet, as I had just caught a Turtwig once I got to the post game and had not done any evolving yet. I was saving it just for you guys. Now we have a Lickitung here. We will again use Dialga and we'll be able to use Aura Sphere. Um, so, Unlike the first two, so Piplup, we did the video for, evolves level 16 and level 36. Then we did Chimchar, it was level 14, level 36. Now you have Turtwig, which is level 18 for the first evolution. The second evolution, you'll have to wait and see. So the other two were each level 36. Let's see what Turtwig ends up being for its second evolution. We'll see how much experience this gives, how quickly it levels up. If we have to jump ahead again, like we've been doing in the other evolution videos, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, it was almost two levels. Um, Luxray also leveled up. But we will likely have to jump ahead again with it not being Sword and Shield and us having a stockpile of EXP candies. We have to take it a little bit slower and actually fight to level up. So we'll take out this Bidoof and then we will jump ahead a little bit till we're a little bit closer to leveling up so you guys don't have to sit through the continuous fighting here that I'll be doing. Again, Aura Sphere to take out the Bidoof because normal type. I don't expect Bidoof to give a lot of XP. Uh, a lot of the other first evolution Pokemon from the earlier areas are given about 700. They gave 800, so it wasn't too far off. Um, but we will catch up when we get closer to the evolution. Welcome back, everybody. I'm just jumping back in. We're going to fight this 
the bite here. Um, we do have our church pick up to level 30 right now. So you are getting close to that level up mark. Um, we're not too far off. Like I said, the other two were level 36. This one is a little bit different. So let's just quickly use Dragon Claw here on Gabite. Take it down, no problem. Since that's the second evolution, we get a little bit of extra XP. So Grotto is level 31. Um, we are getting our Dialga leveled up a little bit. We have another Corsola over here. Let's see if we can finally one-shot it with our Aura Sphere. I don't think we can just yet. Um, I managed to one-shot one Corsola while I was leveling up, but that's just because we landed a critical hit. So a little bit of help from our Dialga being so friendly toward us. But I think that was the only reason. Let's see. Another Aura Sphere, level 63 Corsola, and down to the red. Did not take it out. Earth Power hurts a little bit. Did about 60 damage. Um, but we can just use another Aura Sphere and finish off Corsola. And then we don't have to worry about it. There we go. Corsola is down. Biog is happy. Get some XP. Grottle's almost level 32. What else do we have in here? Ralts. The Ralts can also spawn down here in the water biome. There's a Gabite and a Ralts. All in the same area. I did not come across any other water starters during my training, um, but my statues only give a plus boost. Just a slight boost for water types. You gotta go through all this with the abilities. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever you say. We'll use Flash Cannon. There we go. Down goes Ralts. Again, first evolution. I don't think it gives too much XP, um, but will it be enough? No, 493 was not enough. So we do need to reset and battle more Pokemon. Because we did not get to the next level just yet. What do we got this time? Quagsire, excuse me, Dugong, Farfetch'd. Everything else is out on the water, so let's do Farfetch'd. And as a little far fetch, we have a shiny Dialga. Come on, go through all this. Dialga's jumping around. Then the ability. Um, let's use Power Gem. There we go. Far fetched is down. There we go. So that levels up Grottle 32 and Polyon's almost 71. Um, once learn Leech Seed. Nope, not worried about it. We will just continue on with what we were doing. Except that is what we need. Level 32 for Grottle to evolve. So there you have it, Grottle evolved into Torterra, again need to register it in the Pokedex, 7 foot 3 and it has a whole tree on its back, um, once learned Earthquake, that's probably one we want instead of Sand Tomb, there we go, so Earthquake for Torterra, again level 36, or level 32, I apologize. The other two were level 36. This one was 18 for Turtwig and 32 for Torterra. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys want to stick around for some future evolution videos. Um, we have quite a few that are still going to be coming. I have all the other starters to focus on, and there's so many Pokemon available in this game through the first four generations that we haven't covered at all yet. So be sure to subscribe so you're ready for those. And I just can't wait to keep working on this. I have a special one for the next video. And if you have any ideas for a video, which Pokemon you want to see evolve, leave a comment down below. We'll add it to the list. We'll bump it up to the top just for you. With that, you guys take care. I'll see you in the next one.